Esteval Villian, or simply Messinho, meet world football's new sensation. He's already been hunted by the top teams, in particular PSG, Manchester City, and who would have doubted that Barcelona want to see Messinho in their squad? Right now, our hero shines at the U17 World Cup, and we're eager to tell you about one of the brightest players of the new wave. So make yourselves comfortable and let's get started. But before you start watching, we'll still ask you to like this video. It's just a second for you that's super important for us. Thank you. Esteval Villian was born on April 24, 2007, in the city of Franca. The first big club in his career was Cruzeiro, where he developed until May 2021. On May 7, Massinho officially became a Palmeiras player. Massinho is a versatile attacking footballer who can play on both wings of attack and in the center. Here's what Esteval says himself. I play on the right, but I like to play closer to the center, so that I'm closer to the penalty area. I can turn left, right, and that's where I feel more free during the game. Now let's talk about Esteval's strengths. Among his skills are impressive pace and finishing, his speedy dribbling at times reminiscent of Lionel Messi or Osman Dembele. In addition, he plays great in limited spaces. Messinho is a technically gifted player who can get out of any situation and can create a goal from nothing. He's got something from Messi, wouldn't you agree? Like Lionel, he's excellent at taking free kicks. Or, for example, look at this take on of his, just like a young Lionel Messi. Esteval possesses a wonderful long shot and he's a very quick decision maker. As in this episode, he intercepted the ball and immediately punished the goalkeeper. What do you think of this goal? Well, that is a real monster. Also, his arsenal are traditional diagonal Leo Messi style. From right to left, to describe him in general terms, he's a fast, skillful player with excellent field vision and dribbling and a powerful shot. So, as you have understood, he was nicknamed Massinho for the way he moves on the pitch and the way he plays with his left foot. And by the way, here's an interesting fact. At only 10 years old, Esteval Villian became the youngest player to sign a commercial contract with Nike in Brazil. Overall, this guy is a diamond, who at the age of 16 already promises to grow into a real top player. He is confirming this status at the U-17 World Cup, where Mastinho is one of the leaders and best players of the Brazil national team. In a match against New Caledonia, Estevão had a phenomenal goal in three assists. First, he made a great corner pass. Then he provided this assist. And this. Top performance. Just look at these stats. The performance was so impressive that he made it to the team of the day. And in a decisive match to advance from the group, it was Esteval's actions and the first goal that were key. He handled it so well. So, we can say that Mastinho has one goal plus four assists in three World Cup matches. Not bad. We believe such a football player would definitely not be superfluous at Barcelona or any top club. Esteval himself is closer to the Camp Nou than we all think. In October, the popular Barcelona newspaper Mundo Deportivo interviewed Esteval, which already speaks to some of the connections between Barcelona and Palmeiras. From this conversation, you can learn a lot of interesting things about our hero. Which club do you think Massinho is a fan of? Barcelona. I watch almost all Barca matches. I support this club. I really admire the players who play there, and I hope to be there too. Yes, in particular, he said that his idol is. Lionel Messi. I won't expect it. Messi is a player who inspires me. I watch videos with him every day. He's a master player. I have no words to describe him. Everything he does is phenomenal. Maybe I will follow in his footsteps. Everything he achieved is difficult, but God willing, someday I will achieve it. Another football player that Esteval admires is Neymar. The mentality of this football monster is impressive. What do I like the most? Goals, assists or dribbling? Anything to help my team win. I get up early. Most of the training takes place in the morning, so in the morning I train. In the afternoon I study, go to school, study English, which is very important for my life, says the Palmeiras prodigy. Esteval realizes that his future is in the top European football. 
Therefore, from a young age, learning English takes an important place in his life. Then the 16-year-old wouldn't be himself if he didn't know how to relax. The footballer's favorite pastime in his free time is playing FIFA and other video games. But he's not a hardcore gamer. Messino is also very attentive to his diet and doesn't allow himself to consume junk food. I like rice, beans, mashed potatoes and meat. It is very nutritious. This is my favorite food. The fact that he's not a simple 16-year-old boy says the following quote from the Brazilian prodigy. I was always told that you need to have respect, that no one can be better than the other, because there are moments in life when you are at the top and there are times when you're down. Quite a mature life view, isn't it? By the way, there's only a football on his Instagram. No parties and hanging out. This kid is pretty serious. Guys, if you reached this moment, it means that this video is interesting to you, so maybe you'd also want to subscribe to our channel. Thank you. At the beginning of the 2022, information appeared in the media about certain agreements between Barcelona and Palmeiras regarding Messinho. In particular, journalist Roger Torello, who admittedly is considered average in the Barcelona football environment, if we talk about his information's level of reliability, had an insider. Here's what he reported. Barca stating staff has reached an agreement on the preferential option for buying Mastinho from Palmeiras in the future. Esteval Villian, linked with Andre Curie, a former Barca scout in Brazil, has already been offered to previous Barca technical secretary Ramon Plains, but was rejected by him and must now be approved by Deco who is currently responsible for controlling the entire South American market for Barca, the journalist reported at the end of January 2022. At the moment, Barcelona are very cautious in their statements regarding the potential transfer of the mega-talent. This is what the Catalan sports director, Deco, answered to a journalist's question about Messinho. Messinho, it's normal for a club to follow many players. But in football, you need to be calm. There are other priorities for the next season and, besides, we have players at La Masia. A lot of good players at Barca Athletic and at Juvenil. Barca are indeed following Esteval, but when they will make the final decision on the player, they'll first off all take into account the factor of the young player's high cost. In particular, PSG valued the 16-year-old prodigy very highly. Fabrizio Romano even reported that in November 2022, the Parisians offered 93 million euros for the star duo of Palmeiras youngsters, Hendrik and Massimo. Considering the fact that Real eventually paid 37.5 million euros for Hendrik and PSG could have valued the forward at 50 or 53 million, then a year ago they were ready to pay no less than 40 million euros for Esteval. That is, potentially the price for the player very soon will start from 50 million euros. And then the next question arises. Who will want to pay such crazy money for the top talent? Barcelona will remain the favorites, because Messini himself dreams of building a successful European career at Camp Nou. But will Barca find funds for this transfer? That's the question. If not, Manchester City and PSG will want to see Esteval. Messino has a great future, and we wish the Brazilian a successful career, because the kid has the potential of Lionel Messi himself or at least Neymar. Guys, we hope you enjoyed this video and will drop us a like below. And of course, subscribe to our channel and please check out our new channel, Fanatico, where we also put out a lot of top content. Choose a video to your liking and enjoy watching. Be sure to subscribe to Fanatico, we need you. And that's it for now, Inside Football signing out, bye bye.